everybody this is uh, just a, a brief video to um, introduce what I've been up to for the past few months which is uh, <clears throat> messing around with bits of synthetic material you can see there's a fair few there um, trying to find a better sealing material uh, rather than leather felt and card uh, but also to create uh, a better way of padding saxophones and other wind instruments, um, which gave me a brainwave to uh, <coughs> use magnets to keep the pads in. So what, what I've got here is um, a fully padded Jupiter 767 uh, with my new pad system uh, and a pair of tweezers. So what you can do with this, if you look at each pad, you can see, hopefully, that it's uh, self-leveling. And also, if you want to take one out, there you go. So what does it consist of? Well, uh, each pad has a stainless steel backing disc. This one's a little undersized because it's actually a Music Medic flat resonator, which just happened to come in a variety of sizes which suited the prototype. Um, <coughs> in the middle of that, you've got uh, a button headed screw uh, and then a tiny little nut, if you can see it in there. And on the other side, you've got your standard resonator. Uh, with a similar tiny little nut. Now the two nuts which allow you to adjust, whoop, allow you to adjust the um, the pad's height, uh, they are shortly to be replaced by a single self-clinching nut which sits in the middle of the stainless disc and becomes part of it. So you just have uh, the screw adjustment to adjust the height and then a little bit of thread lock to lock it in place uh, and then you can pop it back in that takes less than five seconds so let's try this one there you go next one <coughs> and the adjustment on the the screw is um, perhaps a millimeter either way so a couple of mil. Uh, you could also get rid of the nut closest to the screw head and put um, shims in if you wanted to do it that way. A bit more fiddly on adjustment, but uh, it might allow you to have uh, a smaller gap there than the 1.53 millimeters that this current nut uh, takes up. Pop one back in there. So as I say, all 23 pads on here uh, have the, the self-adjusters on them. Uh, this is a prototype, so some of them are a little higher than others because that's the thickness that they came. Uh, and also the, uh, the pad material is a little thicker than I perhaps like, like. but um, I've got a fair few other samples to get through, various different materials. Uh, one that um, definitely won't work is this one. Uh, this is uh, silicon with a skin on it. When wet with saliva, it likes to stick to metal. So uh, that, that's one I tested that won't be uh, going anywhere. But there's other ones, um, which <laughs> the ones in here at the moment are uh, open cell neoprene with a silicon spray from Tr True Seal in Florida. Uh, they seem to work quite well. <coughs> the original pads, rather fusty and orid looking, uh, covered in mould. I don't want to open this bag particularly. Um, they were the reason that the sacks were so cheap, so I can do what I want to it. Um, <coughs> and the plan is on, on this one also to cut away some of these keys uh, into different shapes. Uh, what All they need really 
is um, a 10 millimeter circle in the middle to hold the, the little magnet. This is the, the magnet that we use, 10 mil, two mil thick, and the countersink in the middle. Just pop one of these out again. Fits the screw head. Fairly exactly. Uh, it's it's not a um, an easy move because the magnet is so strong, the Odimian magnet. Um, but that's a good thing because you don't really want the the pads to rotate if possible. Although <coughs> the fact that they could re rotate causes um, a, a slight problem in that because. Uh, a pad cup is never concentric to the tone hole, or very rarely. If the pad rotates, any seat on the, the face of the pad, uh, that's not one that would have one, um, would also rotate and could cause a, an issue later on. Um, <coughs> but that's something I've got to get around by choosing the right sealing material. Uh, or making sure that each pad is exactly concentric to the tone hole uh, by placing the magnet in what isn't the centre of the key cup. But uh, that's an ongoing experiment. <coughs> so there's um, a first look at um, how it works. And uh, I'll add more as it happens. See you soon.